So as of last week, I've been making booktube videos for about two years now. And by far some of the most popular videos that I've ever done have been basically shoutouts for other booktubers. I can't tell you how many times on these videos I've gotten comments of people saying, I can't find non-YA booktubers, where do I find the non-YA booktubers? And I guess that's sort of the struggle that everyone has when they first find booktube. Aside from that, I noticed recently there was another like, here are all the booktubers you should watch. Um, article on Book Riot and it was the same like five to ten booktubers that you pretty much always see recommended when uh, people write articles and whether they're on BuzzFeed or Book Riot or some other like online publication even ones that are kind of closer to booktube you always see the same booktubers and a lot of them still talk about YA, which, you know, not everybody wants to see. For that reason, I thought now would be a great time to talk about some booktubers that I never miss um, on my YouTube feed. And I kind of tried to pick out people that I haven't recommended before, but that's a little bit difficult. All of them are definitely worth checking out if you're looking for someone who reads a better variety of books. The first person I want to talk about you've probably heard about already. Her name is Brittany, and her channel is Under the Radar Books. I've just really been enjoying all of her stuff. Um, I really haven't found a video of hers that I didn't enjoy watching yet. The reason why you may have heard of her is because she recently started an Etsy store where she does kind of blind date with a book, but you can buy it online. So it's a really great thing and I'll leave the link below, but you've probably heard of her. I just thought uh, she's really great. I love the diversity of her content. Um, she does a lot of different types of videos and talks about uh, a lot of good books. The next person I want to talk about is someone I've mentioned before and in fact right now I feel like kind of a stalker because I think I've mentioned her in my last like three videos but uh, it's Danielle from One Small Paw and the reason that I bring her up is because she puts a lot of time and effort into her videos which is something that a lot of people just don't do including myself. Sometimes I just kind of sit down and talk. Um, but I feel like her videos are always really well thought out and um, she has a lot of great things to say. In particular, I wanted to point you to her most recent review, which was of Fledgling by Octavia Butler. Um, and what I really loved about that review is that she kind of explained what was good about the book, what was bad about the book, but also kind of like, if you're into reading Octavia Butler, should you read Fledgling first? You know, just like basically a lot of great advice about how to approach this book, which I think is more useful than just like, I liked this or I didn't like it. Danielle is great. Next, someone I've seen shouted out quite a bit recently is David at the Poptimist, but I bring him up because he is incredibly thoughtful once again. And um, I think that his reviews are really great in particular. Uh, once again, someone who takes the time to really get more in depth with what um, what he's talking about when he reviews a book. He also has really great thumbnails. I know that's really random, but like every time I see his thumbnail, I want to click the video. So <laughs> there you go. Next, someone um, that I really like is Chris Alonzo. Um, he actually, I hadn't subscribed to him until fairly recently, which uh, like honestly, if you're watching this, I apologize because I don't know why I wasn't subscribed. It was really weird, but uh, there's something I, this is really interesting because I've heard this said um, to me quite a bit that my voice is calming, which at the time I was like, I don't really know why that appeals to you, but I'm, I'm really glad, you know, that's cool. But uh, for Chris, there's something about his voice and the way he talks, it's very calming and he's very personable. And um, honestly, I've read, a couple of books that he recommended to me and he's never steered me wrong before. He also reads a lot of like literary fiction and classics and things and um, I just think that his recommendations and reviews are really valuable. I also like his Instagram because um, he's just an interesting person. Next I want to talk about Adira, The Young, The Broke, and The Bookish. I have mentioned her before, in fact in my February like TBR that I did for Black History Month, I mentioned Adira because she has done a ton of stuff this month. She's been talking about books and Black History and anything you can imagine. Uh, just in general, I think that everything that she's been doing has been really, really amazing. And um, definitely, if you haven't or you're not subscribed to her, subscribe to her and then watch all her videos from this month because they've been really great. I also really like her Instagram right now. She has a Goodreads group and it's the Writers of Color Book Club and it's great 
and the conversation in uh, that particular Goodreads group is, is much more, I think, once again, in-depth and maybe a little bit more analytical. So that's something kind of, if you're interested in that, you should check it out. The next person I want to talk about is Rachel at Colinati. She is someone that I heard about last year when I kind of said, you know, put in the comments your favorite booktubers who you don't think people know about. And so many people said, Colinati, Colinati. I wasn't subscribed to her, so I subscribed and I've just been really enjoying everything that she does. She's she's a really nice person and she reads a lot of science fiction and it's, it's really great. She also does have like a variety of videos that she does. In fact, like last year I think she was doing garden updates because she's into gardening and I don't know, I just like seeing different things sometimes. It's really great. So um, she's awesome and, and just I just really enjoy her videos. Even though I don't read a lot of science fiction and fantasy, she's someone that I can watch and still kind of be like, I'm into this, even though I don't entirely know what she's talking about. <laughs> the next person that I want to recommend is Patty from I Small Books. Um, I have been subscribed to her for a while and I think that I found her because she was commenting on my videos. She's just wonderful and um, have I shouted her out before? Anyway, she's probably like the sweetest person on booktube. I love that she does different kinds of videos. Again, this seems to be a theme in why I watch people, but um, she she does a lot of different things and she had a series going where she recommends different like booktube videos that she's liked or booktubers that she's liked throughout the week. And I think that's really cool. Like we could all stand from doing more shout outs. Like that's how people find people. If, you know, if we're not linking people or shouting them out, um, you know, that's how we get people who don't know where the non-YA booktubers are. Anyway, Patty is really great and um, whenever I kind of interact with her, I feel like we have really good conversations and comments, so I really can't recommend her highly enough. Well, hopefully, uh, if you're watching this and you have been looking for more booktubers to watch, you found someone new. I apologize for repeating people that I've probably shouted out before, but I really like them and I also find that I kind of watch people in waves and I go through these phases where I don't watch much at all because I just, I'm not into it. And then I find a bunch of people I really like and I kind of watch them until I find more people. So, um, you know, some of these people haven't been around for a while and then they came back recently or they're people that I subscribed to a long time ago and I just realized that I haven't been watching their videos. So, you know, it's just, this is how I do it. I think that's all for now. In the comments below, please leave any booktubers you think are worthy of mentioning. Maybe people that you think deserve to be in these articles where they recommend like the, you know, must watch booktube channels. And so if you're still looking for people after this, be sure to check the comments and see who people have recommended because that's the best way to find people. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you and I will see you guys later. Bye.